And um, uh, Brother uh, Vernon James was here, and I didn't know that he wasn't playing with the musicians on last night. So I thought he was playing with the musicians last night. And uh, Sister Williams said, no, 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 Pastor. He came because he wanted to support and be a part, amen, of the anniversary celebration. And I said to him, I said, Brother James, if you're not busy tomorrow, because it's my fault, I misunderstood the assignment. If you're not busy tomorrow, could you come and could you bless us, amen, on Friday night? And he said, Pastor, I will do it for you. But I wanted to say this because, amen, so many times we say stuff in the church that ain't Bible. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Because he said, you know, he had been, you know, Lord gave him a gift and, and you know, people in the church, you know, would, would say, you know, that ain't, that ain't God music. That ain't, that ain't godly, amen. Well, this is what the book says in Joshua chapter 6 it says and it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn y'all ain't hear what I said it says when they make a long blast with the ram's horn and when you hear the sound of the trumpet <laughs> it says all the people shall shout let me say it again. When you hear the ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, everybody ought to shout. Let me say it one more time. When you hear the ram's horn, and you hear the trumpet, don't do that, because I'm don't. All of the people shall shout with a great shout. But here, here's the shout part right here. And all the walls of the city shall fall down flat but it can't happen unless there's a horn for us to shout so y'all stand on your feet and let's give god some praise for our friend and brother amen brother vernon james god bless you share my gift. And I'm not going to talk long, but what y'all looking at is ex-crackhead. Hey! God will take the garbage that everybody done threw away and make something good out of it. 18 long years long years of bondage. I was living under a bridge in, in Virginia, living in an abandoned cars, and I had good parents. My mother was a missionary, my father was a preacher. But you know, we go wayward. And I had got out there too far, and I couldn't get back. But God made a way. Fifty years. I'm seventy next next August. I'll be seventy. But God gave me this. He said, "Don't steal my glory. You ain't did nothing. All you did was come to me, and I could say yes, Lord, under the bridge. Yes, Lord. But Lord, if you are me, that's got me bound up. Money I get, He take it." Because I was going to the crack man. But God said, I'll set you free. And whomever the son set free is free indeed. So I'm free tonight. I just want to make one more statement. You know when you hear somebody say, the Lord in 1980 and 1998. I've been no slip-ups. 
Ain't nobody been to no clinic. I didn't slip away again. Ain't been no mistakes. Because I gave it to Jesus. And when he took that away, I knew then I was free to run. And I promised him I would. I never had a teacher, so it's going to be some rough spots. But God has given me this gift instead of this. this. And I'm going to blow this for the Lord as long as possible, as long as he allow me. The name of the song, everybody's having problems in the world. Everybody looking for an answer to our solutions. Some Biden. Some people thought it was Donald Trump. Some for Kamala to have the answer. But as we learn, and as you learn from the pastor and the first lady, the answer is Jesus. Andre Crouch is ahead of his time, but Jesus is the answer. And I'm going to attempt to play that tonight. Pastor, thank you so much. Thank you and the First Lady so much for this opportunity.
Tabernacle Praise Team. Y'all come on up here. Y'all come on up here. Amen. Amen. Um, it is indeed, amen, an honor and a